Hi, today we're going to show you how to do the 90 degree for state board. We're going to start right here at the center back. And I am using an extra long comb. This way we can get several cuts out of it. But normally I would use this smaller comb with the ruler side. And for state board she would take it at 7 inches. And then at state board we would cut it at the 6. So, and you can see the difference in the combs, how much longer they are right here in the center back and I do have everybody measure from the root to the end and you see my fingers are at the end of the comb so we're gonna cut right here place your razor about kind of at a 45 degree angle and then just slice down okay and what I do is I take these sides from the ear from behind the ear to the back because this is the issue where the students have problems lifting it up so we're going to go straight back so we already have my guide which is right here and I'm going to pass my fingers to the guide and then just lay that straight and cut same thing on this side from behind the ear we're going to take this straight You see the guide? I'm going to pass it and straight down. We're going to start on the sides and we're going to start one finger behind, behind the ear. And then we're going to start right at the forehead before, where it curves, before it starts to curve. And we're going to take all this straight down. Again, I'm going to measure with my comb to make sure that I have it pretty long, right at the end of the comb length. And I'm just going to go straight down. Again, we're going to do the same concept on this side. One finger past the ear. And we're going to go straight down. And also at the beginning of the forehead. Straight down, measure where it needs to be. And then just straight across. Okay, so we're going to do this front part. And I'm going to start at the center measure with my comb and I'm gonna go straight across okay remember we already did this part down and now we're gonna take the rest of the bang area and then just match there's my guide pass it because we're doing the razor okay then I'm gonna come over to this side and we're gonna go straight down there's my guide Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the Mohawk guide down and it's just the center part on top of the, where the apex starts to the front. And we're gonna take this hair and we're gonna go straight up. I'm gonna use my comb to where it needs to be. Okay, and as I move down, I'm going to move my comb. Do you see how we're still doing this ray of sunshine where it grows out? And then I'm going to take it all the way to the front. Let me get this straight. There we go. Everybody can see my guide. But just in case I need to angle, the comb is built straight. So when I lay it flat, this is my angle, and I can readjust my fingers. And we're done with the Mohawk Guide. Okay, so we just established our Mohawk Guide. Now we're going to split our Mohawk Guide in half. And we're going to have Guide on the left, and we're going to have Guide on the right. We don't have any Guide in the back yet, so we'll get to that part in a minute. So the way we're going to do this is you're going to go right at the tip of the eyebrow, slice in half and we're going to take this whole section together get it nice and smooth straight everybody can kind of clearly see where my guide's at just in case you don't and you don't know where your angle's at place your comb readjust your fingers and cut okay so this section is done you can see it's clearly straight we're going to get a little piece of previously cut guide 
and then we're gonna hold the hair over here on this side. And now with this new guide, I'm gonna take all of it at one time. I'm gonna take it out. Everybody can see my guide. I'm gonna measure from my angle direction. And you can see I had it too high. And then we're gonna cut all this together. Now we're gonna work on the opposite side. Same concept, we're gonna take it at the eyebrow. We're gonna go straight down. And I'm gonna take all of this hair And I'll take it straight out. Everybody can kind of clearly see my guide right there. I'm going to place my comb for my angle, and I'm at the comb length. I don't want to cut too close because I'm going to cut myself. So I'm going to. So now I'm going to take this last section, and I'm going to take it up straight up. You can see my guide right there. I'm gonna measure, make sure, and I'm gonna cut. And I'm only rearranging my fingers to move them down. And you can see my guide, cut. And we didn't place any guide back here, so I need to get some guide from the top part. I'm gonna go ahead and get it from the apex area. And I'm gonna place my guide for this part. What we're going to do is we're going to do this triangle at the crown. Okay, I'm going to stand behind the cut and I'm going to bring it same, same concept straight out. Remember we're doing the 90 degree. You can see my guide right here. I'm going to measure it. And you can see I missed it, so I need to go up just a little bit and cut. So now we're going to take previously cut and we're going to use that as our traveling guide. And I'm just going to fold this hair over because I don't need this hair anymore. And I'm going to take maybe it's right underneath the crown area as our next section. And I'm gonna comb this nice and straight out. We are cutting vertical. And if you can't see your guide, you can grab more hair if you need to. But I can see my guide. I also have a little safety net, which is my comb, and I'm in my guide. Same thing, I grabbed previously cut. And if you feel like this is too much hair for you, then cut it in half right underneath the obstacle bone. And bend your knees, because we're gonna have to go down. And we're cutting. You can see my guide. Same thing, my safety net. I'm right at the comb length. And cut. Now we're on the last section. Take previously cut guide, comb this over, and I'm taking this last section of hair. Y'all can see my guide, measure, and cut. Right on this side. Get this hair out of your way. Okay, you clearly know where I'm working. I'm working on this triangle area. And the crown. And I'm going to bring it straight up. You can see my guide for my angle purposes. Okay. You can cut this in half, but remember this is only for state board purposes. So I'm taking the whole quadrant here because the less cuts we do at state board, the less mistakes we'll make. So there's my guide. There's my angle. Do you see how I had it up? I'm readjusting. Okay, we're gonna keep going. I'm gonna kind of move a little bit faster. I put the head down. Don't be scared to move the mannequin head. It's holding that hair for me. 
So I'm going to take this again. So basically I'm taking these back quadrants into three sections, three subsections. Place it in the middle of this whole wide section. There's my guide. There's my angle. We're going to take previously cut guide, comb this over, and the last section. There's my guide, my angle, 